So for the problem solving approach can be applied to different types of task environment. So these types can be grouped uh, divided into two parts that is toy problems and real world problems. So we know that what is task environment? Task environment is the problem and agent problem solving agent is the solution to the problem. Okay, so here the environment can be grouped into two parts that is toy problems and real world problems like this. So what is toy problems? Toy problems will have exact description. We have exact description and this toy problems are used by many researchers to compare their algorithms, okay? Because there is, a, there is no, uh, uh, there is no because the it has exact description that is why so uh, that many researchers will use this type problems to compare their algorithms okay and real world problems will have no agreed single this there is no single agreed description for this okay so that is why these are called real world problems okay now under type problem we'll be getting We'll be discussing three problems. The first one is vacuum wall problem, eight puzzle problem, eight queens problems. These are the three problems we'll be discussing under tie wall problem, tie problems. Okay. So the first one is vacuum wall problem. So we have discussed that how do we define problem? To define the problem, we will be considering the five components. What are the five components? State, initial state, successor function goal test and path cast. These are the five components we have to consider whenever we are defining the problem. Okay. So now first we'll discuss what is what are the states. Okay. So here the in the vacuum wall problem, we'll be taking two locations, location A and location B. Okay. So when the agent is in, and we are also discussing that whether there is a dirt in any location, okay? So if there is a dirt in this location, the what is that agent has to do? Agent has to clean the dirt. And what is the goal test? Goal test is that both the locations should be clean. There is There should be no dirt in the both the locations. That is the goal test, okay? So here, what is that state represents? The state represents the agent can be in one of the two locations maybe this location may have dirt and may not have dirt. Okay, like that, how many locations we have? We have totally two into two square number of locations. That is eight possible states here. Okay, so what are the possible states here? You see here, both the locations have dirt. That is one state and the agent is in location A. This is one state. The second state is both the locations have dirt. Agent is in location B, it is the second state. And third state, location A does not have dirt, but the agent is in location A, and here we have dirt. This is the third state, like this. This is the fourth state, this is the fifth state, this is the sixth state, and this is the seventh state, and this is the eighth state. These are the different states. Total number of states is equal to what? Agent can be in any one of these states, okay? What are the possible states the agent can be? that gives you the states. So how many possible states we have? Totally eight number of possible states. So then what is the next component that define the problem here is the initial state, okay? So the initial state can be designated as the, any state can be designated as the initial state, okay? So agent can start from any state. What is the successor function? What are the, possible states from the initial states by taking all possible actions. So what are the possible actions the agent can take? Agent can move left, right, or suck the dirt. These are the possible actions can agent can take, okay? By performing these possible actions, what are the possible states it will reach? That is called, uh, those states are called successor function, okay? So this generates the, legal states that result from trying three actions. By performing these three actions, what are the states it will generate? That uh, those states are called successor function, okay? So here, then what is the goal test? Goal test is that 
the agent will check whether all the square all the squares are clean or not if all the squares are clean then what we say that it has reached the goal okay then what is path cost here so if agent is taking one step it cost one okay so to reach the goal state how many steps it is taking so the number of steps it is taking to reach the goal state is called path cost okay so in this particular problem we have considered only two locations is or no we have considered only two locations so how many states we got we got eight states now for example if you consider n locations how many states will have n into 2 power n states these are the total number of states that is n into 2 power n states okay so that is uh, that is the like that we will be defining the problem for example the agent is in this statement so all of you see this uh, figure say the agent here is in this state so what are the actions it can take it can go left it can go right and it can suck the dirt if you it can if it is going left so since agent on uh, location a the left means what it will be in the same location there will be no change in the state so it will be reaching the same state if it takes so the action left it will be reaching the same state if it takes the action right what it will do it will reach from this state to this state okay so it is changing from this particular state to this particular state for example it is taking the action called suck what it will do it will suck the dirt so what happens from this state to this state it will reach then after reaching this state what are the actions again it has it can move left suck the dirt and move the right okay so for example if it is moving left means it will be in the same state if it is sucking the dirt because in this location no dirt no so there will be no change in the state now if it is moving right then what happens they this vacuum cleaning agent will be moving from location a to location b so it will start change from this state to this state okay so now it will be in the new state so once it reaches the new state what is the action it has to perform it has to perform suck so if it is it if uh, it sucks the dirt it will reach this state then this state will be checked whether it is goal state or not since it is a goal state then this is the solution like that the solution will be found okay whenever agent is reaching a new state the, every time the agent 